The Chief Medical Director, National Hospital Abuja, Professor Mohammed Mahmoud, at a news conference to commemorate the hospital's 25th anniversary, says the hospital is considering the option of public-private partnership to fund some of its projects in order to improve efficiency. Government, as at today, has a lot of priorities in terms of security, in terms of education, health, roads, yeah, um, natural disasters that they need to sort, you know, all sorts of things. It is impossible for us to depend on government for healthcare service delivery, to, for them to fund this 100%. If we still think that, then we should know that the time is past. We need to really look inwards. How do we generate this fund within the institutions? How do we raise our IGRs? We also need to look outwards. Philanthropists should come in to at least fund healthcare. PPP should come in. From our banks to some financial institutions within the country, that would be an easier access of funding into the healthcare sector. We can also collaborate with funding sources out of the country to do that. That may be a bit complex because you have to have some guarantees by the government and things like that. Now hospitals have started looking uh, in that direction, not necessarily depending fully on government to fund uh, their projects and things like that. So PPPs are coming in. Um, this PPP could be also uh, public, private, or even private, private uh, funding um, are, also, are, are looked at. So the National Hospital is also looking seriously into such to fund, yes, some PPPs in some certain instances. Yes, and uh, looking for outside uh, donors or philanthropists to assist. So with this, uh, we are also calling on uh, um, Nigerians who are uh, well-to-do, who are in, in, in position to come to the aid of each of our hospitals, and most especially National because National Hospital is a pride of the country. So uh, when you have other hospitals that are located in various states, yes, they cater for the state, but the National Hospital is supposed to be the apex hospital in the land. It's supposed to be a quaternary facility, so we must take it to that level, where even the tertiary hospitals should be able to now refer patients that are difficult for them to treat to the National Hospital. We need philanthropists and uh, other people who can help and institutions that can help uh, to come in. Mahmoud said most of the hospital's revenue goes into power generation and lauded the recent intervention by the government for reducing electricity tariff by 50% for hospitals. ADC in Abuja here had raised its tariff and that has been on all over the country. It has hurt us badly and not only national hospital but all the tertiary hospitals in the country. But I'm happy to say after our crisis, the government has heard us, the government has been very responsive it has now reduced the tariff to 50% of what it is. What we were hoping for would have a special costing or a special tariff for uh, tertiary hospitals. But I think this is also a good relief for us significantly. Um, as you know, power in the hospital is very, very important, it's key. A number of our services fully depend on power. If there's no power, the labs may not work. Because by the time, most of our labs are automated. By the time you start a certain uh, process of testing, once power goes, everything stops. You may probably have to start all over again. He also spoke on the alleged suspension of service to National Health Insurance Authority subscribers. The 25 years anniversary will commence with a thanksgiving service at the National Hospital Chapel and Jumat prayers at the National Hospital Mosque. We have never ever pushed NHI patients away. Up until recently, in the last couple of weeks, I think it took up to 12 years before the tariff of NHIA was reviewed as a then NHIS. And even the current tariff now is not up to what we want. Despite the fact that the new tariff that they have, the raise, is good, 
though we know it's not good enough, we're happy with it. At least it's better than where we left.